to teach you. If you are to be champion of the Alakir, you must understand the spirit of this desert and its people. Tuwaka says you must walk in the steps of our heroes, battle the spirits of the enemies they faced, then you will understand. First you will face the Nidic peoples. When the Ragada first crashed on these shores, the Needs were first to challenge them. Fight the Nidic soldier spirits, claim their essences, and use them to summon and face their leader, War Chief Hakon. That was the name of our Yokudan ancestors during the exodus from our ancient homeland. After Yokuda sank beneath the waves, they sailed here in search of a new home. Their coming was not peaceful. You see, the term Regada means warrior wave. Shalom, YouTube. It's your boy Makaya, a.k.a. the Hawkeye Hebrew, coming at you with another build video. And today we plan on my Stamina Templar Regatta build. Um, it's my, my, my Red Guard inspired build. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed the little intro on who the Regatta are and where the inspiration for the build came from. Um, I can also say this, um, my Stamina, what was it, my Stam Sword, Sword Singer build kind of also inspired this a little bit. Um, I took a lot of the ideas and concepts from that so but they it kind of plays a little different so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and go over the character sheet and show you what everything looks like then i'll go over the gear sets and the skills and we'll go from there so coming in we have 14,000 magicka uh 29,000 health 24,000 max stamina our stam recovery is coming in at 2,000. It's actually about 2,400 because of one of our uh, skills that we'll talk about later. Our spell damage is... Of course, I get shield bashed by the NPC. We got 6,300 spell damage. And that's before continuous or anything like that. So, yeah, we got 6,300 spell damage. Um, our crit is normally about 40%. We're, in, we're getting a, a scroll buff from being in Cyrodiil. So we got about 40, 41, 42% crit. Our pen is about 8K. We got 5,000, roughly 5,000 here on the stat sheet. And then you get an extra 3,000 from power to light. So we got about 8K pen total. Our resistances is coming in at 27,000 spell resistance and 26,000 physical resistance. We have 3k crit resist. And before I forget, let me show you my crit damage. My crit damage is 90%. So you always have 50 by default, and then we got an extra 40 on top of that. So we're coming in at 90% crit damage. I have 55 points in the health, 9 in the stamina. We're using the Thief Munda Stone. Uh, lava foot soup and salt rice and like I was saying earlier my character is a red guard so that's the character sheet to look at the sets our first five piece set is sword singer and I really like this set I wanted to make a stamina templar build that didn't use biting jabs and the only thing that I could think of was doing a dizzy swing build. So that's why I decided to go for Sword Singer as the set. Um, Sword Singer is giving you a line of stam, a line of weapon and spell damage, a line of crit. And then it, um, it buffs all of our two hand abilities, including Rally, by 586. And if all my gear was gold, it'll be 600. And 
as you can see I have that and the battle axe sharpened on my stam sword build I was using this uh, the great sword but my character was a Khajiit so I was getting an extra 12% crit damage and since I'm a red guard I didn't want to lose all my crit damage so I decided to go with the with the battle axe on here and I don't regret that decision at all so you probably could go with a maul a, um, a sharpened maul if you wanted more pin I don't see why that would be a problem but I decided to go with the battle axe on this particular setup and you can see I have the weapon damage enchantment on there my back bar set is rally and cry I'm using this on the back bar only um, rally and cry gives you two lines of crit a line of magicka 300 or 289 weapon and spell damage and then 15 roughly 1600 crit resist so like I said, I'm using that back bar only. I probably would change my precise trait to defending or powered, if I'm being honest. Probably defending would be the best trait. Um, I, you see I have double dot poisons back there. And then for my monster set, I'm using two piece slime crawl. And that's giving us an extra line of crit and minor berserk at all times. I got the heavy helmet. I would probably change that to reinforce we got the one piece trainee on the chest reinforce for extra health my slime cross shoulder is divines which is exactly what I want it to be and then we got a rally and cry sash divines and then everything else is sword singer um, probably all divines on this build except the chest and the helmet I'll probably do reinforce both of those and as far as the weights we have two heavy uh, one light and four medium jewelry rally and cry infused with spell damage for the ring that's infused with spell damage and then we have the mark and ring of majesty and I have that infused with recovery because my recovery was a bit low but I like this the marking on here because it's giving me an extra 200 weapon and spell damage and then an extra 2300 armor so that's kind of where we get our all our stats from um if you don't want to run rally and cry you could probably go with griffins or something on the back bar a lot of people have been talking about rally and cry need to be nerfed and for whatever reason if it do i i feel like it will get nerfed i'll probably switch this set to griffins on my back bar but if that ca if that happens i'll just do another build video and show y'all everything as far as the skills we have dizzy swing that's our main spammable um, not much to say about dizzy swing hits like a truck stuns the enemy sets them off balance uh, we have evil hunter the reason I decided to use evil hunter over camo hunter is because I'm using the two-piece slime crawl so I'm getting minor berserk at all times for my monster helm and if you don't want to use slime crawl then yeah you can probably put a evil or camo hunter back on because we crit a lot on this build so you'll have minor berserk at a high uptime even if you use camo but I like evil too because it has a, a bigger stealth reveal It's 12 meters instead of 8 we are using rally that's one of our main heals that's getting buffed by sword singer uh, we're using explosive charge not toppling charge the reason I decided to use explosive is because the tool tip on it was almost a thousand more so it hits harder than toppling and I didn't want this to be my main stun I wanted dizzy swing to be my stun so it kind of gives me control over when I want to stun my enemy um, you probably want wondering why I'm not using crit charge so you would think I'm using crit charge because I'm using sword singer but with even though this is a guaranteed crit I find explosive charge to crit quite often as well and since I'm not using jabs if I don't have a age of spear ability on this bar I'm losing 10% crit damage and I'm also using losing minor protection so that was the reason I decided to go explosive charge 
over um, crit charge. They both hit hard. I've used both of them on the build, but I like this better. And we got Executioner, and then we're using Onslaught. Onslaught, I really like Onslaught because it, um, it, it ignores the enemy's resistances. So as soon as you hit the enemy with this, this ignores their resistances. And then for five seconds, uh, if this was rank four, which it's almost, it would ignore 100% of their armor as well for five seconds. So after you hit them with Onslaught, if you go back into to Weave and Dizzy Swing, all your Dizzy Swings are going to ignore their armor as well for five seconds. So that's kind of why I like this ulti. And normally it would be, this costs 150 ultimate. But because I'm a red guard, I get a 8% cost reduction to weapon abilities. So that 8% is applying to this. And then also my Templar passive, Restoring Spirit. I'm getting another 5% cost reduction to it from this. That's why it's down to 132 as opposed to being 150 like normal. Uh, back bar skills, Race Against Time is giving us an extra 10% crit damage. Giving us snare removal and movement speed. Restoring focus. This is where I'm getting my armor buff from. And an extra 484 recovery. So that brings you, instead of having 2,000 stand recovery, you have 2,400. We're using resolving vigor. Amazing stamina heal. Giving us an extra 3k resistances. Honor the dead. Amazing burst heal. And using power to light this is giving us more burst damage and is giving us an extra 3k pin on whoever we mark with it back bar ultimate i never use this it's literally there just to be there you could probably use the um the sigic ulti where is it at the sigic ulti one of the morphs gives you uh minor protection at all times i would probably use that on my back bar let me see temporal guard I'll probably use Temporal Guard on my back bar because I really never use this ever. So those are the skills. Um, as far as this build, this build is a monster in Battlegrounds and no CP. This build hits like a truck. It absolutely nukes people. Um, I can heal through damage very well. The survivability is amazingly high on this build and, and no CP. When I tried to take this build to Cyrodiil, it was a nightmare. Um, I understand I can't use lag as an excuse because everybody in Cyrodiil deals with lag, but that was the problem I was having with Dizzy Swing is trying to line up Dizzy Swings in Cyrodiil is a nightmare, at least for me. I, I feel like when I'm on the receiving end of it, it seemed like people be landing it flawlessly. But I can, like, my character would hold his arm down. And there's, like, a slight delay in when, in when he swings. So it was making it harder for me to medium weave it. I'm already not the best um, person with Dizzy Swing. I'm not the greatest with it. So that wasn't helping at all. But then also, like, there's times where my, my gap closer won't go off. I was missing my onslaught ability a lot because of the delay that I was having with skills. So it was just like a, it was a nightmare in Cyrodiil. Um, I got a couple clips of me getting some kills, but I, I feel like in 1v1s, you can definitely kill somebody in a 1v1 on this build in Cyrodiil. But this build is bad at fighting outnumbered. With all my attacks being single target attacks, and they're all hard to land through lag. This build was a nightmare fighting out number. Like it, it made it really hard. So I don't recommend using this build in Cyrodiil at all. Um, but I mean, hey, you welcome to try. Um, I kept, I also noticed like I wasn't able to heal as well through damage um, when fighting out number. I end up dying to a coal overload and I guess there's not much you could do about that. I'm getting pulled in by dark conversions, the usual. Y'all already know how it go. 
but um i mean for those that want to see the cp i'll go ahead and show it to you um see on the blue tree i was using master at arms i was using untamed aggression i used this because i wanted the extra damage and i felt like it would help me um with my healing so i chose that i got duelist rebuff and ironclad i took both of those i feel like single target man i was getting my hairline deleted i felt so squishy so i took both of those for some defense in the red tree i took boundless vitality i only got about twenty six thousand health and bg so i took this to get my health up and then I took all these right here. I wanted this extra recovery from Sustained by Suffering, Pain's Refuge, and then Relentlessness, um, just to get a, a little bit of extra damage mitigation when being stunned or feared. And then Green Tree don't really matter as much, but I had Gifted Rider, War Mount, and um, Steed's Blessing. So that was the CP. Like I said, I really don't recommend playing this in Cyrodiil. It definitely performs better in Battlegrounds, but you're welcome to try. Um, if you got any questions, let me know in the comments. If you see anything that you would change about the build, let me know. Like I said, you could probably swap the Monster Helm out for something else with more survivability. But I wanted to go the Glass Cannon route. Um, but yeah, um... Let me know what you like about the build, dislike about the build, whatever. Um, and I hope you enjoy the Battlegrounds gameplay at the end. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.
version with every single stroke. Finally, it's my show. Flourishing with 